Dedan Kimathi University of Technology is the premier technological university in Kenya. It is one of the fastest growing and well specialized universities in the country, the African region and beyond, attracting students from across the continent and the world. The university was founded in 1972 as Kimathi Institute of Technology with the aim of using quality education, research and technology to transform the society, a focus the university has since not lost sight of. It later became a constituent college of Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology and on 14th December 2012, the university was promoted to a fully-fledged institution of higher learning through the grant of charter by the late President Mwai Kibaki. This December 2022, the university is celebrating 10 years since its charter since the official birth of Dedan Kima, the University of Technology, Dekot. This is a significant milestone in the university as we celebrate a decade of academic excellence, significant strides in research and innovation, and a continuous commitment of technology development and advancement for better life. This celebration of Decode at 10 coincides with the university's 13th graduation ceremony, and we are proud to be releasing more graduates to join rest of the Decode alumni in contributing to the development of our nation and beyond. The university remains committed to providing an academically stimulating, culturally diverse, and quality learning environment that fosters research, innovation, and technology development towards producing relevant technical and managerial human resources and leaders to contribute to the attainment of national development goals. The programs offered by the university are approved by the Senate and the various designated bodies like the Commission for University Education, CUE, and the Engineers Board of Kenya EBK. For us to continue providing relevant education and ensure that our graduates are well trained, exposed, employable and succeed in their careers and indeed contribute to making the world a better place, we have increasingly worked with the industry, the government, local or international institutions and deliberately created opportunities to expose our students to the world of work and entrepreneurship. In the past few years, the university has made tremendous strides. To highlight just a few, we have formed strategic alliances and collaborations with various like-minded organizations to ensure that our students are empowered with superior skills and the requisite mindset that they need to deal with the challenges in the modern job market. In 2020, the university partnered with the Kenya Film Commission, KFC, to start a digital media center that aims at curbing some of the challenges our youths face today, such as unemployment through technology. Through this partnership, we established and launched the Decode Kenya Film Commission Film, Animation and Gaming Hub, which provides a platform where young people and interested parties in creative art can use technology in filmmaking and participate in the production of digital media products that can be marketed widely. Since its establishment, the hub has directly employed 20 people and provided over 100 freelance jobs to youth, students, and locals. The hub has also created room for developing new academic programs such as Postgraduate Diploma in Animation, which is scheduled to commence in 2023. The facility currently serves 100 people per week, including students, interns, and staff members. Aside from that, the hub also creates as an incubation space for film projects in Nyeri County and helps transform the country into a shooting destination for local and international filmmakers. So far, the hub has graduated 15 scriptwriters, 23 PSC interns, and 60 work-study program students and has offered capacity-building training for 95 planners and 50 actors and actresses. The university has also signed various agreements with several organizations and institutions. To list but a few, the university has an MOU with the Center for International Migration, the Africa Bioenergy Program Limited, AFBL, and Biogas Kenya, with whom the partnership will help set up a center of excellence in biomass energy under the existing Center for Biomass Energy Studies, CBES. The University and the Duchi Gesellschaft for International Samana Beit JIZ recently signed a grant agreement for the Green Climate Fund GCF project, which is being implemented by the Code Center for Biomass Energy Studies. In collaboration with Arthitec, the University developed a public private joint partnership project to manufacture laptops. The partnership intends to exploit the ability to develop products, solutions that are specifically suited for the income levels and taste of the African market and create an entire ecosystem that allows for design up to local manufacturing of made in Kenya for Africa. The computers, 
which have the model name 6 to look above, are now variable for sale countrywide for 350 USD to 800 USD. The university has been in the process of establishing a science and technology park. Recently, the park was admitted into International Association of Science and Technology Parks IESP membership, becoming the second member from Kenya after Konza Technopolis Development Authority. The Code Science and Technology Park encourages cooperation and synergy between universities, research institutions, the government and the private sector to create a favorable environment for innovation, renovation and training. This initiative also supports students and staff to become entrepreneurs and job creators and stimulates regional economic development. So far, Dust Park has attracted Anchor Clients, Snowcap Development Limited, Arcitech and Semiconductor Technologies Limited STL. The Semiconductor Technologies Limited is already operational and provides the Science and Technology Park and the University with crucial local and international linkages contributing to intellectual property outputs. STL has also tapped the talent of human resource professionals from among the university's graduates and staff. We are proud to say that these professionals trained and molded here at the university are a great asset to the company. This year, during the 39th International Association of Science and Technology Parks World Conference held in Severi, Spain, Kenya won the competition to host the IASP conference in 2024. This is a positive statement and a great opportunity for Kenya and Africa to demonstrate the great potential to contribute to science and technology. Representing Kenya at the conference were the representatives of Konza Technopolis Development and Authority and the Code Science and Technology Park. The university has established 19 specialized research and innovation centers to support the function of the Science and Technology Park. Among them are Center for Development of Electronic Devices that engineers design circuits for various electronic devices depending on functionalities specified. Center for Nanomaterials and Nanoscience Research that creates capacity for research and development in thin film reposition, nanofabrication and characterization. Center for Polymers and Mold Designs to support the development of plastic engineers and polymer technology required in the manufacturing of electronic devices. Center for Nanoscience and Artificial Intelligence that develops diagnostic tools for medical imaging, systems for natural ecosystems and water resources monitoring, center systems and mobile applications for precision farming. Center for Geospatial Information Systems and Remote Sensing. Center for Natural Products. Software Development Center that provides local software solutions. The Startup Center that promotes the development of prototypes and the establishment of spin-off companies and enterprises. Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship Management that offers mentorship support and entrepreneurship training to innovators and startup companies. The university also signed an agreement with the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO to establish a UNESCO chair on antibiotic social technical systems at the university, which will be launched in December 2022. Specifically, the chair will disseminate the knowledge and methods of understanding antibiotic systems and processes used to emerge and futures, advance future studies, and enhance societal resilience by cultivating conditions for capability-based approach to well-being and sustainability. This is a major milestone in the university as it will enhance an integrated system of research, training, information and community management to study anticipatory socio-technical systems. It will also engage in research, teaching and community engagement that enhances future literacy capacities and the integration of the discipline of anticipation to support the development of a resilient and sustainable Africa. The university is also constructing a comprehensive cancer management center in line with the Kenya Vision 2030, which aims to provide high quality and affordable health care to improve the quality of life for Kenyans. This center is a national government project under the Ministry of Health and will be funded through a tight credit facility from the government of Hungary. The cancer management center aims to become a national and regional center of excellence in cancer research and management. It seeks to fill the gaps in cancer care in the region in terms of early diagnosis and treatment. The construction of the center is underway after the groundbreaking ceremony by the immediate former president of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, in August this year. Among the latest developments at the university is the launch of the Ajira Digital Club under the Office of Career Services. The club was formed as part of a partnership between the Office of Career Services and the Ajira Digital Program. It acts as an additional training, incubation and mentorship forum to help equip students with digital skills 
to the world of work. So far, more than 200 students have been trained. Several of these have successfully explored the digital space where they gain more experience and earn a living. The Office of Career Services was launched earlier this year to spearhead more deliberately the focus and effort of the university to produce graduates who are well molded, equipped, exposed and ready for changing the world of work and entrepreneurship. The university has also established a financial aid office, DFAO, which has a robust work-study program that allows students to work while studying within the university to earn an income and learn from various departments and offices. This year, the Financial Aid Office signed a cooperation agreement with the Education for All Children, EFAC, to support needy students' access to education. The office seeks to enhance and diversify sources of funds to support needy students and ensure that such students continue with their studies uninterrupted. Together with EFAC, the office will identify strong candidates who demonstrate academic talent, leadership potential, and financial need. In addition, the university has enhanced her internalization agenda through the international office that runs the students and staff exchange programs, thus ensuring international exposure to as many students as possible while also hosting international students to learn from and with our own. This is in line with the university's focus on being globally competitive and molding the university into an institution known for world-class research, academic excellence, exemption of staff and students, and one that harbors the highest level of innovation and progressiveness. This year, the university has signed Memoranda of Understanding with various universities globally for the exchange of students. The students have also owned the internationalization agenda, such that some of DECO Students Association facilitates student exchanges. These associations include the International Association for the Exchange of Students for Technical Experience, IAESTE, and the Association for the International Exchange of Students in Economics and Commerce, AIESEC. Through these mechanisms, DECOT has been able to send and receive students from different parts of the world, which has not only enhanced the diversity of the university student population, but also enabled DECOT students to gain valuable international work experience and exposure. As we continue to make strides in contributing to a better society, nation and the world through our dedication to quality education, research, innovation and technology development and transfer, we urge our graduates and our alumni to be good ambassadors of the university, to be visionary and carry themselves with dignity, discipline, integrity and hard work as they apply the knowledge, skills, lessons, experience and the formation gained here at the court in building careers they love and that contribute to growth and development, to making the world a better place and to their fulfillment. Congratulations, graduating class of 2022. Congratulations, Decode at 10.